Hey friend, a few weeks back I posted a guitar lesson on how to play Bad Moon Ryzen as recorded by CCR. Now in that lesson, I showed you a version that I would play if I was on a gig or someone said, hey, can you play Bad Moon Ryzen? And that's in standard tuning. And what it is, is it's closer to what Tom Fogarty plays in the band. Now John Fogarty is actually tuned down a whole step. Now the other lesson is gonna be the easiest way to play this, but I wanted to show you another lesson and dive into the version where we're in Fogarty's tuning. And this gets a really awesome sound. And what you have to do is you tune your guitar down a whole step. So instead of E, A, D, G, B, E, we're gonna be D, G, C, F, A, and D. And what that is is you take each note and you drop it down two half steps or a full step. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play in the key of E. But because we're tuned down a whole step, the E is gonna be sounding as a D. So it gets a little bit more complicated because you actually have two guitar players on stage both playing visually in different keys, but it's lining up because of the tuning. So I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what Fogarty does. And what he does is he goes up here. So now we're in the key of E and we're gonna be using three chords. We're gonna be using E, essentially B and A, but we're gonna play them a few different ways on the next. So we'll start like this. Now this first chord is an E bar chord, but I'm gonna put the B in the bass. So I'm gonna play, starting on the sixth string, seven, seven, nine, nine, nine. Okay, and I'm just using my index and actually my pinky, or you can use your ring finger if that's more comfortable. So that's E over B. And then we're gonna just shift slightly to a bar chord here. This is like an E shape bar chord. This is a B chord and then an A chord. Now for B, it's gonna be seven, nine, nine, eight, seven, seven. And then just drop it down two frets to turn that into an A chord. So we've got E over B. A, and then E down here, which is just open, two, two, one, open, open. Okay, so, now rhythmically, we're gonna go one, and, and we'll make that first hit just a little staccato, and then we'll let the second one ring a little bit longer, and then up, down, so it's down, down, up, down, one, and, two, E, and, a then three and four and, and here I do, I sort of break up the strings. I play the bass strings, then the treble strings, bass strings, treble strings, so. Now this song has a swung 16th note feel. So a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a ba 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 That's really a key ingredient to getting the groove right. Now once we get down here, on this E chord, we're going to go. And what I'm doing there is taking this E chord and then adding my pinky on the second fret of the second string. One and two E and a three E and a four and. So I'm just creating a little rhythm, a little figure off of the chord instead of just like get a little movement. And it's almost like, right? I think of basically a blues shuffle. Okay, so one and two E and a. So that's bass strings, treble strings, and then up, down, up. And that down there has this pinky go down. So bass, down, up, down, up. See that one? Two E and a. Then we'll go three E and a. So that's the and a three, it goes back on. And then four and, that's off on. So we're just creating a little motion there.
And Fogarty does some various licks that are all kind of similar to this. I'll show you another one in the verse. But let me back up. This is the intro, note for note here. So starting up on the E over B chord, I want two, three, four. Then we're into the verse there. Now, a lot of this is based off bluesier ideas like the shuffle and then that little sort of pinky move there is a common sound that you hear in the blues all the time. If you like playing blues guitar, I wanna give you something that's really gonna help you out. And what it is, is my free blues scale PDF guide. And on it, I share with you the five blues scale patterns that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And you can get this completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash blues scales and you can download it as my gift to you. And it's gonna help you learn this style and be able to play up and down the neck. So hope you enjoy that. Now, once we get down to this E chord, then we play the same progression, E, B, A, but we do it with different chords here. And what Fogarty plays for the verse is he plays this. Such a cool sound being tuned down a whole step. Let me show you the shapes. I'm playing the E, which we covered, open, two, two, one, open, open. Okay, and then we're gonna shift to a B7. This is from the fifth string down, two, one, two, open, two. Another very common blues chord. And then A, which is played starting on the fifth string, open, two, two, two. Now I watched a video of Fogarty playing this live and he actually plays the A chord like that, which is, uh, it's a little bit different fingering there, but it makes sense, you know, right there, just to make that change easier. So it's just one finger, the middle finger, just sort of mashed down on the strings and then you go back to E. So I'm a big fan of doing weird things like that. Like if a player has a fingering that isn't common or something that I usually do, if I'm trying to get their sound, I copy it. You know, If it's Jimi Hendrix and he brings his thumb over, I try and bring my thumb over. And those little things, yes, they're uncomfortable, but they actually can really help you get an authentic sound and understand the style. So from here, B7, we're gonna spend just one beat on each chord. So. For E, it's gonna be two, but B to A or one. So we'll go one and two, E and uh, then B7, A, then back to E. Okay, so the strumming is bass strings, treble strings, then up, down, up on the E chord. So one and two, E and uh. Then here, B7, I just go bass strings, treble strings, bass strings, treble strings. So I'm breaking up each chord. So one and two and a three and four and. Now check this out. This is another one of those riffs that I was mentioning. We're gonna go. Just a little lick off, off the chord here, off the chord shape. And this is your E shape here. We're gonna play the bass strings, treble strings. Then we'll add that pinky down on the second fret of the second string. And then we'll do a little bluesy hammer. That's the open third string to the first fret. So, and then up strum, add the pinky, take it off, put it back on. So one and two E and a three E and a four and one and two E and a three E and a four and. Now the genius thing about this is that it happens in between the vocal phrases. So this is very important if you want people to enjoy playing with you. You have to not like step on what they're playing or what they're singing. So if you have a singer singing and you're just like ripping leads behind them, they're just gonna be like, hey, can you like chill out and can you just you know, play with me and not feel like we're just headbutting each other in the music. And so what John does here is he plays the fill while he's not singing. So I see the bad moon lick. I see the da 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 lick. 
so see how it fits right in and it also creates like a call and response between the guitar part and the vocal so that's what we're going to play for the verse here it is a few more times Okay, now we go on to the chorus, and here we're gonna just straighten out the rhythm. We'll do a lot of just bass, treble, bass, treble with the strum hand. It's gonna go like this. Then we throw in the lick in the very last bar there. So what I did was I started on the A, starting on the four chord now, I'm gonna go bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble. Then go to E and do bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble, bass, treble. B7 for two beats, bass, treble, bass, treble. A for two beats, bass, treble, bass, treble. And then the lick. So it's da 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 Again, notice how the guitar lick comes right in after the vocal stops. So that's how you want to do it. Now when we end the song, there's one last part. So we come off the B7 chord, and what we do is we're playing B7, A, and we go one and two and three, and we end on B3. So that's how you play Bad Moon Rising using John Fogarty's tuning. So he's playing it in the key of E while the other guitar player, Tom, is playing it in the key of D. Now, if you have two guitar players and one of you wants to tune down, this is gonna be really cool to put those two parts together. It's just a great way to get a full sound. So you can always check out my other video for the standard tuning lesson. And be sure to grab my free blue scale PDF guide. This is gonna help you put these scales together and show you how to play the blue scale anywhere on the neck using five simple patterns. These are the ones that I use. You can grab this completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash blue scales as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, and for more Fogarty, check out this video next.